Hello again everyone, Saka here and welcome back to American Truck Simulator and if I'm in this game you know the new DLC has dropped and that would be Montana. We are here in Idaho Falls and let's show you the journey that we are taking today. Idaho Falls up to Butte, Montana. I don't know if we're actually going to get that city discovered as we're going to the rail yard just before, but here are the towns in Montana if you are interested. Uh, Kalispell, Thompson Falls, Missoula, Butte, Bozeman, Helena, Great Falls, Avra, Lewistown, Billings, Laurel, Miles City, Glasgow, Glendive, and Sydney. So we'll be starting in the southwest corner of Montana, making our way through all of the business. And thank you so much for joining me. Let's go ahead and get underway here. Uh, I took a double. It, the job wasn't originally going to be a double. That's why the... Uh, Exit is really tight here, but we should be okay, yes indeed. And we should be on new and undiscovered roads fairly soon. Uh, I liked it that we were able to teleport from uh, my home base in Los Angeles uh, all the way up to Idaho Falls, so I didn't have to take a whole lot of time getting back up here. It used to be you had to... Uh, yeah, that turn wasn't meant for those. But it used to be you had to go to your own garages, and I have a garage in every state in the capital. So once we get over to Helena, I'll go ahead and grab another garage as we have 26.4 million. And are we stopping before the railroad track? Um, let's see if there's enough space here. I don't like the fact that... Uh, we have a double here next to a train track, but we should be able to make a right turn here. Yes, indeed. Just barely get out in front of that traffic. Excuse me, blue vehicle. Coming through. Yeah, and then a left turn out of here, and we should be on to some new and unproven roads. So we're here in the Volvo as, uh, as we used to be. Just chilling, and I'm looking forward to some Montana DLC for sure. It's been a long time since the last DLC. I believe it was Idaho, so, um, of course, the achievements, I'm no longer at 100%. Uh, there are some interesting achievements in this DLC for me to get. Um, not so difficult, I don't believe. Uh, there's a few jobs that require you to make a perfect delivery to a few certain locations, and then there's a lot of um, make 10 deliveries to a certain point. And the worst ones are, you know, trying to get one of each part of a larger construction, because uh, then you're just waiting on the economy, and sometimes the economy is not gracious in giving you the, uh, the parts that you need or the, the loads that you need. So I didn't see too many of those. But all is well. Let's go over to this right lane here. And are we going to make the light? Maybe. Let's go for it. Speaking of making the light, there are some special transports. Uh, around. I don't know if we're going to run into any of those, but if it just happens to uh, to line up where a special transport is going to a town we haven't been before, then we'll take it. The truck is more than capable. Outstanding. Catching those lights is what I like to see. And you can see we're pretty close to an undiscovered... Uh, I was grabbing the mouse like I could actually point it out on the GPS. But straight ahead of us there is an undiscovered, so we're pretty much on the cusp of undiscovered roads. All right, and off of Pit Road and on to I-15. And we should be in Montana very shortly. It's going to be a little bit of a trip. Not too bad. 198 miles, 3 hours and 22 minutes. So we should be able to grab another job the same day, really. And we got one guy coming up quick, fast, and in a hurry. Come on, buddy. Outstanding. 
and 65. I don't know what the speed limits are in Montana. In fact, I really don't know. Ooh, West Yellowstone. That's cool. To be fair, I really don't know anything about Montana as a whole, so I don't know um, very many big landmarks, or I'm familiar with the city names, uh, Butte and Helena, but the rest of them I'm not really too uh, keen on, so this will be a learning experience for me. Uh, if you are from Montana or the nearby area and you see something that uh, you know looks awesome, let me know how accurate it is. Uh, from the first little reviews that I've read, uh, people who drive Montana regularly recognize most of the stuff. And that just goes for SCS and their, their quality. A good positive rating on Steam as well. One thing I can say about SCS is even though it takes time to make those states, they do a really good job with those states for sure. Way station ahead at Rexburg and Salmon. So are we going to get duped with a way station? That is the question. Entering a new state, probably. If I had to make a guess, it is open. Yeah, it's what I thought. So we'll be pulling into the way station here. And I don't see... Okay, so the way station was over there. That's my bad. I didn't see the sign saying that's where the way station was. We got sort of duped out. So we'll be fined a little bit, but hey, I'm rich. So we uh, don't need to worry about that. Um, it'd be interesting if they integrated some harsher penalties for skipping the way station. 700 bucks to continue on. And let's uh, not do that again if we can help it. Even though you have 26 million in the bank, you don't want to go peeing away all of that money. Yeah, it sort of trips me up when there's a way station on the other side of the highway that, you know, I was just blind. That That's on me. I will take that penalty. I don't feel wronged on that. A few of them I did feel wronged in the past, but that one was just, uh, yeah, me being an idiot. So is that a rail line over there along the interstate, perhaps? Nice and wide. That's why I like to see a lot of... Uh, wide open spaces and when Texas comes rolling around I can't imagine the amount of wide open spaces in Texas I can see why that one's taking them so long there we go in Montana white Mariners represent nice rest area a lot of signage here Dolan and Butte 171 miles and we're only going 145 like I said we're uh not going to quite make it to Butte today. We're sort of off the rail yard into the side, so I don't know if we'll get credit for seeing Butte today. But uh, if we don't get credit for it, I might roll in to Butte at the end of the episode Bobtail just to have a poke around, take a look. One thing that I did see is they were improving the rest areas a bit. So there is a rest stop on yonder. Nice, quaint area. Ooh, some te a teepee. Interesting enough. Yeah, I imagine uh, there will be a concentration of uh, Native American-inspired, perhaps, architecture or places, especially near Yellowstone. Hey, we got to pass that way station. It looks like it's closed. But luckily, good weather, good traffic flow. Junction. All right, so we're pat near a junction. We might actually be taking that junction. I'm not sure. And of course, this being American truck, they may throw a wrench into the works, uh, sending us a detour 400 miles out of the way because the only way in to a location is blocked by a helicopter crash or something of that nature. So we'll be mindful. See the, if these last 100 miles uh, are productive. But if this is the first time you've been on the channel, welcome. Uh, glad to have you chilling with me on this drive. That's why I like American Truck. It's a time for me to sit back and talk about what's going on, talk about uh, gaming. Uh, as we're just moving places, or things from place to place. I'm not sure if in the Idaho DLC I had that Thrustmaster uh, wheel 
I think I had the old chainsaw from the Oregon DLC hanging up there, but uh, doing some achievements and getting that steering wheel, awesome. I don't have the uh, accessories pack DLC, so it's always cool when I uh, get something new to hang in the truck. Barrett's and Dylan. Although it does look like rain, and I think I saw from the one of the new update patch notes, is there's intelligent rain sensor. So when you turn on your uh, windshield wipers, it detects how much water is on your windshield and adjusts the speed accordingly. So it's cool that you're not like scraping a dry windshield because it's just like a little pitter patter of crap, you know. Stella with the level up. Yeah, with a brand new garage comes five brand new drivers uh, to level up and notice. But Stella has been one of the long term drivers. I think actually like one of the first drivers we ever hired. So I think she's pretty much maxed on everything. So when she levels up, it's really no big deal. 73 miles one hour, still eight in the morning. So definitely can get uh, several jobs in this calendar day. But since the uh, last American truck video, been making, uh, ooh, we got cows been making a re ooh was that a blown tire that's cool that alligators are on the side of the road but uh, I've been regular content with X4 I believe um, and of course NASCAR racing 2003 season so if you haven't caught any of those episodes and they interest you go ahead and swing on over it would be much appreciated and really the uh, growth of the channel itself has been steady thanks in part due to the release of some x4 dlc a lot of people were interested in my uh is x4 a game for you video which is always good to see that they tune in uh to the let's play as well i really enjoy x4 um it has its moments like american truck where it's chilling it's uh, going from place to place hauling things and then uh every now and then a war breaks out <laughs> and uh we're in the middle of it Ooh, is that a uh, construction going on over there? Interesting enough. Let's not rubberneck too awful bad and go careening off the side of the highway. That would not be good. Continental Divide. Oh, yeah, I remember reading about that. Yeah, that's one of the things as well about American Truck is uh, I see some landmarks or some uh, terms like that, and it's like, oh, yeah, I remember reading about that. Haven't thought about that in quite some time. 35 minutes away now, passing Silver Bow and hub access to Silver Bow. Interesting enough. It looks like we're exiting off the highway coming up, however. Oh, I was going to say, and does this highway just end? Oh, we're slowing down now. Whoa, what is really going on, people? Ah, what did I say? What did I say? American Truck Sim throws a wrench into the works. Are you gonna let me over yellow car? Much appreciated. I'm coming over any who. Alright, Camaro waited for us. And we are not taking this exit apparently. It'll be interesting to see how this thing routes us around. Because we're literally going right to the left. Alright, so we're gonna have to come up the other side. Luckily, not too far away, 68 miles now. I was gonna say, um,. You know, it's not going to be several hundred miles out of the way, so that is fine. We're heading to Missoula, passing the Butte uh, exit, and we might actually be going into downtown to do the loop around. And I don't think that side is blocked off. No, that side is good. I was going to say. And is that Montana State? Not sure. If that was Montana State, let me know. But yeah, we'll be taking 90 east to Butte and then looping back around on ourselves. So as I had expected, a little wrench into the works, but luckily not bad. It's a shame this isn't a uh, cloverleaf. That way we could just straight up uh, just do a loop. And it's a quick turnaround on the other side of the highway, so not too awful bad. Big rig parking this exit. Oh, so we're passing one of those, perhaps, newfangled rest areas. 
but we'll be uh, exiting pretty much right away. We don't need fuel, we don't need to sleep, so taking the rocker exit at 122. I wonder if rocker was named because there's a lot of rocks and people had to clear them and they were called rockers or something like that. All right. And that kind of looked like a hotel. Yeah, that is a nice built-up area. Oh. Ah. Oh. All right, we cool. And I imagine the AI are coming down this way because they got rerouted as well. Ooh, a traffic circle. All right, here we go. Clear on the left. And is this technically a one-way, one-lane roundabout? Not sure. But we'll just take this on around. And up and over the creek. Okay, that one wasn't too bad. That, that first little bump over the creek was definitely a, a bit of a bump. Cool. Actually, we're uh, still exiting. So basically just coming back on ourselves here. But it wouldn't be American Truck without a bit of a detour. And we got to see some, uh, one of those built up rest areas, which is always cool. Yeah, let's get up to speed here. Although it was a, uh, a two arrow job with the, uh, with the timing. I still don't think we're late because we don't have the guitar rock music of death uh, playing around, so we should still be fine. And with this being a double, we don't have to worry about backing it. Ooh, an arcade zone. It's time to play. Where is that? I would make that exit quick, fast, and in a hurry. All right, and then back basically the way we came. And I don't know if we can see the, uh, the incident when we look across, but yeah, a lot of traffic coming this way. Hopefully all these guys are turning right. Getting stuck on a hill is definitely not conducive. Leaving controlled access highway. What is a controlled access highway? Kind of makes it seem like you need a badge to get on the highway or something like that. We good? Yeah, we good. Excuse me, brown truck. Yeah, that's on me. I'm rich. I'll pay for it. <laughs> Tell you, American truck. Always throwing out... Uh, Throwing out things like that. But he'll be on his way. It's all good. And we, like, once again, we did not get quite into Butte. So we'll just take a spin on in downtown while we're here. All right. What do we have here? Kesmo, Kimso, Silane, Walbert, and Montana Freight Terminal, which is where we're heading with this stuff. And there's the train. I didn't, I don't know if we would have been caught by that train at any point. That may have been a, uh, a train crossing at the highway back there, but we're here at the rail yard. So if they're waiting on our uh, double to come in, oh crap, are they coming this way? No. Okay, cool. I thought we were going to get tripped up. Of course, it would be prime American truck sim if those arms were to come down, like, immediately, right when we were at the crossing. Man, it looks like everyone's coming to the rail yard. 
Definitely feel like we are in an industrial side of town, that is for sure. Okay, so we can bypass the way station coming in, which is cool. It's cool that they have a bit of a, uh, a scale on the way into here. Just adds that little bit of extra. Definitely pretty picturesque though, not going to lie. And luckily no train coming. All right, so they're going on around. We are heading into here and hopefully we'll have a straight pull through. We usually do with a double. No gate guard or anything like that to welcome us. Even though it says stop, there's really no one here. Aha! So there we are then, right at the end of the road. Can't get much simpler than that. And that would be interesting if we could pick up a job from here and go into downtown, just like a little quick, uh, you know, hey, if you need something taken into Butte itself, I'm ready to go. And we'll just park it right on up here. Outstanding. Drop the legs and see what our damage is. 253 on the distance, five hours, 12 minutes. And uh, yeah, not much when you're level 47. But let's take a look just for giggles here at the freight market in Butte and see if there is a Butte to Butte delivery. Let's go by uh, route length. Okay, so that is backwards. No, so Laurel is the quickest job. And that's 18 uh, minutes until it expires. So we will actually go uh, into Butte here. We'll load up the world map and head into downtown. Uh, let's yeah, head to this uh, little Faraday. Cool, so that's gonna be another hour. But I figure since we haven't uh, driven American Truck Sim in quite some time, just play a little bit longer. Hello, yard dog. And then that way, if there is a job in downtown Butte in the next uh, episode, we won't be too far away. And hopefully, there are some new, uh, a new drop or new cargo. I haven't read if there were new cargoes attached to this. I imagine there may be. Cool, we good. Yep, no need to weigh out. And I don't actually think this is a working way station. I haven't tried to stop there and see, but... Because usually the, it would have that scale icon to say, you know, stop here and press enter to pass inspection all right we good yep we good so 60 miles out of town that is quite the uh quite the haul away makes me wonder if there is like a big rail yard like 60 miles out of town like how close is American truck to, you know, outside companies. But hopefully we can, yeah, I think we can take that exit back down. It was only the exit coming up from the highway that we had to go around for. So we'll be driving up where we made the loop from and then just continuing on. And maybe if that wreck hasn't cleared up or whatever it is, we'll be able to see it when we look down the uh, overpass. Or when the job is over, it may clear. 
Is it cleared? Yeah, it's, of course it's cleared. Nah, we're not turning right. Why would we do such things as these? It does happen, though. All right, up to Spain. Set our cruise. And yeah, just uh, an hour away to get into town. And I don't know if we want to purchase a garage in Butte. I definitely want to do uh, the capitals, as it seems um, the drivers will have a much easier time finding jobs, I think, out of the capital than the, uh, the bigger cities, but we'll see. Ooh, nice, 70. We'll take that all day. And I forgot how much horsepower this truck has, but it's enough to get up to 70 by itself, quick, fast, and in a hurry. Yeah, so we're passing the rocker exit that we took to turn around from. Oh, down to 65, I see him. Ooh, a nice big uh, maintenance shop over there, eh? Yeah, it's a nice big, nice big truck stop. That's cool. I know they wanted to do new branding for their truck stops. Um, make them look much closer to real life counterparts without actually, you know, paying the licensing fee for Loves or Pilot Flying J or anything of that nature. And we'll be heading to the city center in the left exit. And it, we may have a viewpoint or it may be a recruiting agency or some of that nature, we will see. But there is Butte, so we may have in fact discovered it, or it may have discovered it um, as we dropped off. Now this is an interesting town entry for sure. Yeah, down to 35 here. So here is Butte. Does Butte look anything like this? We'll see. Nice, caught the light. Can't be mad at that. Montana Street. Now, I think for street names and whatnot, they uh, they might take some liberties. I imagine there is like a Montana Street in these cities in Montana, but, you know, usually they're like proper named. Like, what is this street here? Granite Street. Makes sense if you... Uh, have a lot of granite nearby. And yeah, this feels like, you know, small town USA. Although Butte, does it have like 100,000? Some of that nature. I know it's a pretty big city. But this feels uh, really close to like my downtown um, cities that I live near, for sure. They do a good job really making you feel like you're in the city. Which I don't think Euro Truck, like from what the Euro Truck I played, the cities felt kind of, um, kind of bare, like less bare than this. And they could have uh, improved it, uh, you know, quite a bit since I played American Truck. I haven't played or Euro Truck in quite some time. It's just, uh, you know, no work, you know, no, it's just a preference. Obviously more familiar with the United States, so whenever I, you know, drive around the U.S., I recognize more things than Euro Truck. But Euro Truck, still a great game. I mean, if Euro Truck wasn't a good game, we wouldn't have American Truck. That is for sure. We'll follow this uh, state policeman down to this area here. And this may indeed, yes indeed, a viewpoint. So, one of the achievements are to see all viewpoints. So we'll end this episode by uh, just taking a look out here at this viewpoint. Take a look around here. And here we go. What is this, pray tell? It's a big old mine, that is for sure. All right. Let's take a look at this viewpoint. The city of Butte.
Got the Montana State flag there. Some folks, is that actually a, uh, a place in Butte with all the minor silhouettes? That's cool. Man. You know, it, when you see things like this, you just marvel what humanity can do with all those strip mines and things of that nature. Ooh. Is that the old side of town? That looks like a place you don't want to be. And of course, yeah, the nice pristine city center. Wonder if that's city hall there or uh, a court building perhaps? But yeah, that, that view right there, that just looks like, you know, small town America. Refreshing Trucker Cola. Okay. The Butte Water Company. Is that an actual building? That is cool. Yeah, you definitely get the feel of, like, how old the city is. The general store is like an old western general store. Ooh, a mega sale until stock lasts. Kind of maybe a going out of business sale, maybe? Oh, man. That old equipment. I wonder if that's, that stuff still works. wonder if that's like a mine elevator. And there we are, parked off to the side next to this huge gaping hole in the earth. Man. It's crazy. Props to all the miners that go out and do, do the work. That is crazy for sure. Cool. So one viewpoint discovered here in Montana. And in the next episode, we will pick up uh, in Butte and see exactly what loads uh, are in store for us here. This memorial is dedicated to the men and who lost their lives by hard rock mining. Greatest disaster. The Granite Mountain Speculate... Oh, fire? June 1917? Oh, crap. Props to you guys. Wow. Well, wow, what a way to end an episode. <laughs> but that will do it for me. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'll see you in the next, hey, American Truck Sim video. Take care.